In China, license plates cost more than a car. Ever wonder what it costs to own a car in China? Well, here's some startling statistics. The price of a Z100 mini car by Zotye Holding Group, a Chinese automaker, costs the equivalent of $3,721 US. But to have a license plate in Shanghai at the most recent auction for license plates, the plates went for an average of $14,530. So you see, uh, getting the license plate is almost as if you're buying a used car or a new budget car, uh, such as a mini car. So this is one way that the government can limit ownership of cars, uh, lowering pollution and traffic and things of that nature. But what it really has done is backfired on the government because there are so many fakes out there uh, for license plates that in most cases it makes sense for uh, new car owners to get it on the black market rather than having to pay the high fee uh, for the license plate. Now this is just in Shanghai, but the other major cities are similar to this, Beijing being even worse as far as how much it costs to actually own a car. Um, when Beijing introduced a license plate lottery in January 2011, the combined share of Chinese brands sold there plunged by more than half to 9.7% for the year. Uh, so basically, uh, what, what happened was that uh, the uh, auctioning uh, prices got so high that people were discouraged from buying cars. And that's what they're also trying to do with houses, discourage people from buying houses. And uh, it has had the opposite effect where it has driven up the cost uh, of ownership and people scurrying to buy it um, before the price rises again. So um, again, it, it backfires and uh, it's really interesting to see this. You know, the Mini here, the Z100 is similar to Tata Motors in India. They have probably the cheapest, if not one of the cheapest cars in all of the world to buy. Uh, this Z100 is uh, only slightly less than the Cherry Auto QQ or the BYD electric car, which the government subsidizes. And even with the subsidies, uh, people still are not buying electric cars. They're buying uh, conventional gas-powered cars, or uh, some of them are buying hybrids. But the move to all electric has not been popular at all. And I, I think that has to do uh, with value. Um, as far as I can tell. Uh, secondly, I want to show you this. Uh, China cracks down on military use of luxury cars. Um, what they're concerned with, the Xi Jinping regime is concerned with uh, the image that they're portraying to the rest of China because like I've said before in many videos, the wealth divide is huge here. The gap between the rich and the poor is the widest in any part of the world. Uh, how do I know that? Well, even if we just look at the published numbers for the wealthy here, the government officials and their families and what they make published, it's the widest. But we all know that they don't release the actual numbers, so it's even wider than what it may appear. Now, these military license plates, now what the restrictions are here that they've come out with is that um, engines larger than three liters are prohibited and a value of the military cars uh, must not be over 73,000. So they're issuing whole new license plates for these cars that will be budget cars because uh, in Beijing and other cities what's happened is the uh, black market has been successfully copying those license plates which allows them to get perks such as going through toll booths without paying, getting parking privileges, and being able to then resell those black market license plates for uh, even higher than uh, they would have if they uh, would have bought that legitimately through the auction. So um, that's what's going on with cars. Um, <laughs> you know, you got to pay uh, heavy tariffs and taxes on the car itself if it's, a, if it's a foreign car. The subsidies don't amount to much and uh, parking is a nightmare. Insurance, repairs, and other fees make it uh, to be one of the more expensive places in the world to own cars.